bumper onto my TX map. Yeah. Who's the bumper by? Um, T T R T S T Bone. T-Bone Racing. That's right, T-Bone Racing. So this is Sophie's Blue X Max. We've still got some tinsel on this from Christmas time. Tinsel in the wheels to make it look nice. And it's a blue truck, so to keep him with a blue theme. Nathan Catching very kindly obtained me, or obtained Sophie, a blue T-Bone Racing bumper. So <clears throat> move the truck back a bit. Would. Um, you can rip that open if you want, though. We can tell people what's inside. So T-Bone racing parts come with a lifetime guarantee, which is very good. I've got these on a couple of other my cars, and I've had great success with them. So, well done. <clears throat> so you get some instructions. They tell you to read prior to installation, but we don't read instructions. And we have our bumper, comes in two parts, and it also comes with a little accessory kit with some screws and things that you need to change. So first thing I think we'll do is we'll look at um, getting the two parts attached together. So I'll empty our parts out onto here. Okay, we need to find the two smallest screws. Excellent. Okay, and where this screws through, it's right in there. So if we show the people on the camera, so here and here, through to this side is where we're going to put the screws. Okay, so if you drop one screw in at a time, just in that little hole there. Okay, so these are quite small. These are um, like M3 by 10 countersink screws. Okay, you want to grab one of the small nuts, and then this is the tricky bit, to try and screw the nut on. Okay, so these little nylocks can be quite fiddly. Yes. So, there we go. Okay, then we need our other screw, and that's going to go in through there. Well done. And the other nut, so the way we work out which that's it, so that's the top, it goes on that way. Well done. Okay, I'm just going to go and get us a little spanner for them. Okay, so they're in three nuts, we're just going to use a standard. I call them a Tamiya wheel spanner because that's how most people know them. That's what kits they generally uh, used to come in. Okay, done. So what you do is we're going to put that on one side and we're going to get that on the other and screw it up like that, okay? So I'll hold the wrench for you. That's it. Excellent job. That tight, that feels tight. Okay, so if you pull it out, we'll do this one on this end. Turn it the other way. Other way down. That's it. Excellent job. One more. Yeah, that's tight. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so fairly easy, fairly simple. Okay, next thing we need to do is uh, remove a couple of bolts for the old bumper. So, down in here, we're going to remove these two bolts first. So, they're a 2.5mm. So, there we go, don't. And the top's going to do. Well done. Excellent, that's all right. Okay. Catch the screw. Well done. 
So in our house, we always practice that um, you work and maintain on your, your own trucks. So that's exactly what we're doing here. Okay, so we're taking these two screws out. We're now going to flip the truck over. And when you're doing this, be very careful um, if you're using a table at home that you don't scratch your table. That's why we've got a mat down here. Okay, Dylan. So we're going to take these four screws out the bottom of the skid plate. Because this T-bone uh, racing bumper goes over the top, you've got the thickness of the material, so you actually get slightly longer um, bolts to go in this. Excellent, good job done. So uh, obviously when you're using power tools on screws, you need to be careful. Um, Sophie's been doing this a little while now, so she's slowly getting used to just how hard to do things, you know. And let's face it, the best way to learn is by doing things yourself. You get a greater appreciation then of uh, what you actually need to do. Okay, brilliant job done. So now that those four are removed, we uh, can go ahead and look at installing our new bumper. So, I'm going to side and see this gap here. So slide that over and we line up the four holes on the bottom there with the four holes on the skid plate and we're going to get these four long screws that are countersunk as well. So these are M4 by 16s. Okay, so there we go. So you can start with any one that you want. There. And then what we'll do is we're going to use that end of it. And we're going to just put it in a couple of turns, we're not going to go all the way, so we're going to get them all nicely lined up before we um, torque them right in. That's it, that'll do. Perfect. Now when you put a screw in and you've got four holes to go to, the best place to go is the diagonal opposite corner, which is exactly what we're going to do here. Excellent. Yeah. Okay, so we can get one more. Yeah, perfect. Turn that in a couple of turns. Perfect. And we can just get the last one. And that can go in here. Keep going all the way in with that one. And yeah. And then this one. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. As you can see now, I don't need to really assist at all. Um, Sophie's getting really, really competent at uh, using the tools and exactly. Um, <laughs> I say that, exactly um, when to stop and how much torque to put down, uh, which for an eight-year-old is, um, I personally find, quite impressive. Right, so now I'm going to turn this over, and one thing that's probably going to be quite hard to see on a camera, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move your angle. And I'll try and get it so you guys can see exactly what is going on down here. Okay, so down, let me have a look. So we've now got the top part and the original part that roughly come together. So we're now going to drop two M4 by 18s down in there. Now they also give you little nylon bushings that you can put in. I've personally found in previous experience that they don't actually uh, work very well. A view the top angle, if I tilt the truck over slightly. So where these parts are coming together in here, we're just uh, slotting them down in place and we're gonna put the two 
supply bolts, which are uh, M20s by 18. So there you go, Sophie. If you put it through the blue bit, it's a bit fiddly, but hard to get to. Isn't it? Yeah. There you go. And then uh, that's it. We'll drive that one in. These are also a 2.5mm Allen head. Good job. And then the last one. Oh, that is yeah, it's a bit fiddly to get to, isn't it? Yeah. And what go in? Yep, there we go. Okay, so with that now uh, installed, that's uh, everything done, nice and solid, ready to go and play and uh, have a bash. As you can see, simple job, it's given us a nice big solid bumper on the car. I hope that's helped you guys, I hope you like that video, if so please subscribe, hit the bell button and uh, that will keep you notified of upcoming videos, tutorials and bashing videos. And uh, once again, just thank you for the support.